Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about personality. What is personality? If you ask somebody what personality is, chances are they're going to feel like they have a really good idea of what this concept is. I mean, after all, everybody has a personality, some people have different personalities compared to others. It's a term that we use really frequently in day-to-day -day life. But just in my own experience, when you ask somebody to really describe in a lot of detail what personality is and also maybe what it isn't, uh, people tend to kind of struggle with this. And personality is this very broad kind of abstract concept. There's a lot of different pieces to it. So it's understandable why the concept of personality, while on the surface might seem very much intuitive, can actually be very difficult to describe. So in today's video, I will be talking about what is personality from the perspective of psychology. But first, I should probably go ahead and introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dr. Sherry Krasaniak. I specialize in social and personality psychology. My PhD is in experimental psychology, and I've been involved in the world of psychology for about the past 10 years. The goal here on my channel is to teach you about different topics in psychology. Um, both for the more academically minded people, so if you're a psychology student, as well as for those of you who are really just interested in understanding more about people and the science of people, as we call it. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in learning more about, please make sure that you are subscribed down below. I'm a very new channel, so it definitely helps me out. Okay, so to start off with, we have to do it. We have to start with a textbook definition of what personality is. It's just kind of the best place to start here. So in terms of a textbook definition, personality can be thought of as these relatively enduring or stable patterns of thoughts, feelings, and behavior that are very consistent across time and across situations. Now, I realize that was kind of a mouthful, but don't worry, we're going to be unpacking this. Um, so first and foremost, personality involves all of these different characteristics, basically how you describe what somebody's like. You know, we meet new people all the time, and we might then describe to a friend what a person that we just met is like. And we could use all sorts of different characteristics or descriptors to describe a person. So we might describe somebody as, oh yeah, this person is really funny, they're really outgoing, they're really friendly. Uh, maybe we might say that this person is just so reliable, they're dependable. Like if you need somebody to babysit your kids, this is the person. Um, you might say that, oh, this person is kind of laid back, they're a little bit more shy, maybe they're more withdrawn. Um, you might also say, oh, this person is just happy all of the time. Like, I don't understand how somebody could be so happy. But these are all different ways of describing what a person is like. And this can be thought of as personality. But personality does not just encompass um, different types of behaviors, although that is certainly a big part of personality. So how a person tends to behave over time. It also involves the way that they think about things. So do they enjoy thinking more abstractly? Do they prefer things to kind of remain consistent and stay the same? Um, it also involves emotions. So is this person more of a positive person? Are they happy most of the time? Or maybe they're quite the opposite. Maybe they're a very anxious um, person who experiences a lot of negative emotions. So personality encompasses all of these different types of traits, you could say different ways of describing somebody. And if you do a dictionary search, I don't, I don't recommend this, but people have done it. They've kind of gone through the entire dictionary to see exactly how many ways there are of describing somebody. And I kid you not, there are um, at least 4,500, I believe is the correct number. That's crazy. <laughs> There are so many different terms that we can use to describe somebody's personality. And I'm not talking about like physical characteristics. I'm talking about these more internal um, types of characteristics that are then displayed in some kind of an external way through a behavior or through an emotion and so on. 
But now we have to get into that second part of the definition. So personality tends to be relatively stable across time and across situations. So what exactly does this mean? Um, what this means is that, well, number one, that personality is not some static or rigid concept that never changes. People do change. It can be very slow and across time, but people can and do change. Um, so the person that you are now is probably not exactly the person that you were maybe 10 years ago. There's probably going to be some similarities there. It's not really that common for people to completely change everything about themselves, but there are going to be differences there. And the reason for that is because I mean, you've had so many more experiences now compared to 10 years ago. Yes, you, you're the same person, but there's a lot more that's happened to you. Um, your perspective on the world might not be quite the same, for example. Maybe you've had kids since then, and that's kind of forced you to uh, be more of a dependable person and to think more about others and to be more compassionate and so on and so forth. Maybe you now have a job that's just way more demanding, and that's kind of shaped you in new ways. So there's all of these different, we can call them environmental influences, that can shape our personality over time. So yes, personality is relatively stable in that it's not going to change super dramatically. So the person that you are today is probably going to be pretty similar to who you are tomorrow and the next day and next week and so on and so forth. But we do start to see changes across longer periods of time. So who you are today is probably not going to be exactly the same person as you were 10 years ago. But there's going to be some kind of a relationship there because you 10 years ago was still you. It was just kind of a different version of you with less life experience and so on. Now, sometimes I hear people describing personality as kind of like somebody's second nature, which I both agree with and disagree with, and here's why. So I agree with that because, yes, a person's personality is kind of just who they are when, you know, they're not trying to put on a persona. It's just, it's just who they are. But at the same time, I don't agree with that because when we say that it's somebody's second nature, it kind of implies that they're born that way. And... <laughs> you're not. You might be born with certain genetic predispositions, but you are not born the person that you're going to be for the rest of your life. You're born with certain genetics, and then immediately the environment starts to shape you. So your personality is continually developing throughout your life. It develops throughout childhood. It develops throughout your young adult years. It develops far beyond that. Until the day you die, your personality will be adapting. It will be subtly changing in certain ways. It's also important to remember that the person that you are right now in this moment is going to be kind of different than who you are in different types of situations. So right now you're probably sitting at home, you might be sitting in a library or in a quiet space. You're going to be behaving differently right now than you would compare to if you were with your friends at a party or if you were at work and you have to be really focused and so on. So the situation also kind of determines um, our personality, you can say. And it doesn't mean that we're different people in different situations. It just means that the situation is another part of the environment that shapes which aspects of our personality are going to come out. So we might be a really hardworking, focused, conscientious person while at work, just, you know, really focused on our work. And then your coworkers might be surprised to learn that when they get you out of that office and they take you to a party, suddenly you're the life of the party, you're so outgoing, you're so much fun, but you don't really get to show that side of yourself at work. But you're still the same person in both situations. It's just that different parts of you come out in different situations. So that's why we say that personality is relatively stable across time and across situations, because you're not going to just completely change who you are depending on the situation or across time, but there are going to be these kind of subtle nuances that come into play uh, depending on when in your life we're looking at, as well as the type of situation that you're in. Okay, well, I think that's about everything that I have for you today. So I hope that you learned a little something about what personality is. If you do have any questions at this point, please make sure to comment them down below. I will be answering any questions on this video. 
please make sure that you are subscribed if you like this kind of content. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted to my future uploads. Well, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.